Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, so in our previous class, we discussed about the indexes. Okay, what is the index and why we required index, how index will be faster and all we discussed. Okay, so today topic, so we have a two types of indexes. Okay, two types of indexes, types of indexes. So mainly there are many types of indexes, but we mainly use the two types of indexes. Okay, two types of indexes. What is that? Cluster index and non-cluster index case, okay? Cluster index and non-cluster index. So cluster, cluster index, index and non-cluster. Non-cluster, okay? Non-cluster index. So what is the difference between cluster index and non-cluster index and uh, so what is the use of it? So, so what we discussed is so automatically when you create a primary key with the primary key so it will create okay so it will create a it will do the physical order of the data so that we okay it will do the physical order of the data okay. So when you create without, okay, without uh, primary key, it will not do the physical order of the data, right? So let me uh, create that, okay, let me create that. Okay, just if it is existed, we'll drop this. Okay, so drop successfully. So without primary key, we'll see that, okay, without primary key. Primary key automatically create the cluster index. So I already uh, explained that. So. If you want to know that, okay, so whether uh, the uh, index is executed, uh, existed or not, okay, if you want to know that, so you can go with the sp underscore, okay, yeah. So seven rows affected now. So if you see, there is no order, okay, there is no perfect order between this place, okay, there is no perfect order okay so if you see that okay so if you select that okay select star from tbl employee okay select star from tbl employee okay if you execute it okay if you execute it just execute so see that okay there is no order okay there is no order now okay if i create a if i create a primary key okay if i create a primary key it automatically create the so indexes okay let me drop here okay let me drop this okay execute and write a primary key here okay primary key okay and then just execute it okay so now insert the data it will do the order okay it will uh, execute in order okay so the rows are affected now it will do the order by okay order by id okay see now it's an order okay it's an order so that means it it has been created so if you want to know whether uh, when you have a primary key so it's it has an index or not you want to know so you can go to the database okay so this is already covered in my previous class but still i'm telling you okay so guys over unmute yourself please go mute yourself huh? so go here and then tbl employee and then you can go to the keys. So there is a primary key. Okay, this way you can go and then also you can find with the SP. Okay, system defined stored procedure we have SP. Okay. Um, L, SP underscore help index, I think. Okay, help index. Index, help index. Okay, so you can execute and that table name, which table, okay, you on which table you want to check that. So you can go here and then you can execute it. So see, there is a cluster index has been created with the primary key and ID. Okay, so guys, okay, cluster index means, okay, so cluster index, it do the physical order of the data. Cluster index, I will give one example, you will not forget what is a cluster index. Cluster index same like 
telephonic directory guys okay telephonic directory it will it will, it will not have a separate index okay so if you see the last name first and then so again it, you can search with the first name right so if the last name is same again it will start search with the and that means index and data will be in same table okay it will not be okay per table you can have only one index case okay per table you can have only one cluster index so to create index i have already explained in my previous video create okay so create index okay alter table table name okay so alter table so if you want to add the okay if you want to create index so create index okay index index name okay index name whatever the index you want to create index name okay create cluster index so you can specify here cluster uh, index clustered okay clustered clustered index okay you can specify the clustered index and the index name okay whatever the index you want to create index name okay ix okay dot table name okay the table name okay dot or you can specify the underscore also no problem okay index name on which column suppose if you want to create a salary column okay you can specify the salary on which table you want to create on this tbl table okay tbl employee table okay all right so salary okay salary table okay we so try so guys okay remember that we have already one key on this table okay you cannot create one more cluster index okay one more cluster index on this one okay tbl employee incorrect syntax create index index name just a minute guys okay create index index name sorry so i forgot, I forgot to write on here okay on uh, this table okay so create in cluster index index name on salary so if you want ascending or descending you can specify here also okay so if it is uh, descending you can specify the descending okay <coughs> try to execute so i think already that cluster index so you cannot create okay once you have a primary key so once you delete that you can create it okay suppose if you delete this uh, primary key so this is already uh, primary key existed right so so once you delete it then only you can um, so drop the existing primary key it's what the error is giving drop the existing uh, index cluster index before you creating another okay before before you creating another so that is the reason so it's not created if so i have deleted just now so you can execute it now okay so this time it will order with the salary okay this will order with salary see order with salary descending order so i specified descending order okay so it's created with the descending order okay that way so cluster cluster index and non cluster index non cluster index also same syntax but instead of cluster index you can specify the non cluster index okay so you can specify the non cluster index guys okay so non cluster index something like that okay so but non cluster index per table you can have a 999 okay so in it's like a, it's refers like a same like a te textbook okay textbook you have a index somewhere and then a data is somewhere okay so index is somewhere and then data is somewhere but uh, cluster index is non cluster index is like a textbook cluster index is like a telephonic directory guys okay telephonic directory data and index will be within the same table okay per table you can have only one cluster index but non cluster index okay per table you can have more than one cluster index guys okay up to 999 you can have so that is the only difference guys okay that is the only difference creation and everything is same so but see the differences if you want to so today class our main class is that differences between cluster index and non cluster index okay so first difference what you will say so first difference what you will say so the difference is so per table you can have only one cluster index okay per table you can have only one cluster index guys okay one cluster index one cluster index per table okay per table but 
more than okay here more than one cluster index non cluster index more than non cluster index more than one non cluster index per table okay okay so this is the first difference and then second difference is okay second difference is cluster index is faster okay cluster index is faster compared to non cluster index okay index is faster compared to non cluster index okay and here so non cluster index is slow why because okay why because so so you have to refer okay you have to see the, uh, the data and index is somewhere and then data is somewhere right so you have to first look into the index and then you have to go to the actual uh, data in a table okay so first of all you should, suppose you have um, more than um, 100 uh, cluster index okay more than 100 cluster index so, so you non cluster index okay you have to check the each cluster each index and then so you have to go to the actual data okay so it will check the indexes first and then it will go to the okay it will go to the actual data guys okay non cluster index will be slow why because so we have a data is somewhere and then index is somewhere and the data is somewhere so we have separate indexes okay and also and also cluster index will have the very less storage okay so very less storage okay it will have the less storage. why because so it, it, it does not require any specific storage okay cluster index does not require any specific storage right required any specific storage okay specific storage it does not require any specific storage within the table only you can you will have the cluster index but non cluster index index is somewhere and then so data is somewhere okay suppose if you so if you have a very less amount of data that is fine but if you have a millions of records okay index is somewhere so it will take the more memory right more storage okay it will take more storage okay so if it is one uh, cluster index uh, one non cluster index, uh, index is okay but if you have more than non cluster more than one cluster, non cluster index okay up to 999 we can have per table okay that means so if you have a huge amount of data each non cluster index will take more space it will take more space case okay it will take more space compared to non cluster index okay so compared to so cluster index and non cluster index so cluster index is a better okay so better to go with the cluster index non cluster index so so and also guys and also we have a so till now we have seen okay so indexes advantages okay so index will make your search faster because of the balance structure and all we have discussed but so we have a another another side story also so indexes will have the will do the performance slow also guys okay so when it will be what is the disadvantage of indexes and all we'll see tomorrow okay this is about the differences between cluster index and non-cluster index guys okay hope you understand so what is the difference between cluster index and non-cluster index it's a very important interview question also hope you uh, like my video and uh, please uh, share and subscribe guys okay if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel okay thank you bye